Today, our topic is how to hit your pricing sweet spot. It's really important that you don't go in with a set price without asking them what their budget is. It's really important that you put the ball in their court. What is your budget? And what have you paid in the past? What you're looking to do is meet their needs. You're saying to them, we will customize any program or package to fit your needs when you're pricing. Sometimes you're going to do it as a one-time event. Doesn't mean you're not going to get other jobs from it. And other times you're doing it at more as a promotion where you're selling your products and services. Lori is our tech guru. Lori has packages. If you have an entry level at one time or a set package, but it leads to other things. Absolutely. On my website, I have basic, either a one hour package or a five hour package. I actually had an opportunity early this week to work with a new client. And by the time we were done, I asked her if she wanted to go ahead and add on some more hours. And she had told me, I don't think so at this time. I don't really have anything that I can think of that I would use you for. Um, I said, that's fine. You know, I'm always here for you. Let me know. And actually just this morning, she just sent me an email and she's like, I have actually have thought of things I could use you for. And she gained trust in me and my abilities. That's your time to sell yourself and what your abilities are. Now have the opportunity to sell your bigger package. Because you're not going to go throw out your six month program at somebody for $2,000 and they don't know who you are. No one's going to pay you that. They want to see what can you do for me? You know, how do we work together? Is this somebody I even want to work with? I want a relationship with. That's a mistake that can be made. And I know that it's something you have to untrain your brain. When you are trained to ask people to do a health history or to promote your six month program, you're not drawing people in, you're repelling people because it scares them. It's too big. So we always want small entry-level packages, not the big kahuna. Um, with people's websites, you've got to have an entry program, something, some way for them to start to get to know you. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Sell your services. Know what they are, but don't price yourself out of the game. The goal is to know what is your objective? Are you there one time? Is it a money-making thing, a kid's birthday party? You might not get a lot of clients out of that. You're just making money from it. You will get other parties from it. Word gets out. But if you're in front of a lot of people, like doing a retreat, you've got all these people who are like-minded. Those are all potential clients. So you don't want to overprice yourself. You want to give yourself the opportunity. Let's do the math. You can start to say $35 a person. There's 12 people there. That is $420 a day. It was a five-day retreat. That's $2,100 for the five days for the week. That's not such a bad paycheck. You know, you got to think about it. Like, what's the overall amount you're going to make? And how many potential you get out of it? Make sense? I want everybody to know that you've got to hit this week spot in your pricing. Okay, it's a wrap. <laughs> you guys have an amazing week, and we'll see you next week. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.